One of the things I love most about coming to the Easter show is getting up close and personal with some of the animals from down on the farm. It's a great way to learn about milking a cow, the old fashioned way, by hand. What are some of the techniques of milking a cow? The first thing to do is give them breakfast. You just hold the top of the teat uh -huh. and then gently squeeze the milk out of the teat, uh -huh. being nice and gentle. I'm going to give it a go. Here we go. It helps if you get it in the bucket. I'm missing the bucket. And how much milk is there in her eyes? Sam's using around about 20 litres of milk a day. 20 litres of milk a day? That's a massive amount. And how many times a day do you need to milk Sam? Yeah, we milk Sam at home twice a day, so at 5 o'clock in the morning and about 5.30 at night. I don't really feel like I'm getting anywhere. I'm actually missing the bucket. Do you want me to show you how it's done? Yes. No <laughs> oh, look at the professional. Another great Australian rural tradition is sheep shearing and I thought I might give it a go and start the process for the next woolly jumper. So Jim, can you tell me what's the one thing that I should know before I go and shear a sheep? When you go into being a shearer, you're going to be a professional athlete. You're not a workman, you're not a tradesman, you are a professional athlete and it's a mindset. I'm not a professional athlete. <laughs> How many balls of wool is that? You can work on an average of about one man's suit. Right to go solo. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Just go very, very slowly. Right, okay. That's the right. changer to work. Okay. And then we just let this one go back to here. Right. Okay. And you've shown a shape. 